uh, I was tasked by the Dean of College Transfer General Education Programs to look at packets that we received uh, that dealt with a variety of different military occupation specialties, MOSs. And being operations management logistics and being this close to a military base, we said, well, this would be a good audience for not only this business program, but other business programs. And so we were looking at creating certificates or other avenues for, to attract more military students and things that they already do in the military. What we've been able to do is to, to add some sort of academic rigor and some mental energy into looking at what credits soldiers would, be, uh, would receive based on uh, their learning outcomes that are equivalent to college credit hours, and to be able to map all of those credits into uh, military occupational specialties. Well, what we found is that um, with the maps, it has allowed our veteran population and even our active duty population to be able to identify that they have training, military training, um, that they have schools, military schools that can be turned in to um, viable college credit. As a faculty member, I see it as a way to grow my program. I am the program coordinator for operations management, which directly has, it links to logistics, and there are, there's a lot of that in, in the military. So what I've seen is our soldiers that come into my program, active duty as well as veterans, they bring a lot to the classroom. They have a lot of experience that they can share with the other students, and it helps to make my program more successful. I spent half of my military career in the education side of military training, if you will, in the, uh, the uh, Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership School and the Senior Academies. And I saw there that it's all uh, sound, educational-based uh, training uh, based on the ISD model. You identify your objectives, your competencies, and that's the way you build your education and training. Many of these soldiers are in skills like automotive, um, logistics, human resource management that equates very easily, it translates very easily to the civilian sector mm -hmm. and they could be easily doing a job working as a human resource manager for any corporation or business. And so it's important for them to understand the value of their education, their military education and their learning and to translate that to the civilian sector. I would say that the, uh, the quality of learning, the credibility of the learning, the validity of the learning uh, through the portfolio process and through ACE is as good, uh, if not better, than what you learn in the classroom. And I say that from experience as an ACE evaluator uh, and someone who's been through the KEL training. And what we've done is we've mapped about 114 uh, different um, uh, MOSs at, at various skill levels and put those together to offer to the soldiers. Um, what's, what's great about that is that it not only applies to the active duty, but it also applies to veterans. So if we have veterans who are looking for um, college degrees as well, that they can come in and they can leverage those maps. This is a great program that recognizes that they're, they're, the active duty gain a lot of training. They know a, they have a lot of skills and knowledge mm -hmm. about the material. It recognizes that. Even for someone who uh, doesn't come in and says, okay, I was a military policeman. Uh, they just come in and say, you know, I was just an E7. I kind of moved around a lot and all that. Well, that's good enough. Let's see that DD-214. Let's establish that rank. And then we can go and we can see uh, what we would approve for someone who would achieve that level of, of kind of senior leadership on the enlisted side. When people learned what we were trying to accomplish, and I think the more information we gave them regarding what the person did in the military, I think that was the, one of the biggest obstacles. They just didn't have the knowledge of what they did in the military. So we provided them all kinds of paperwork showing um, the ACE recommendations, other descriptors of schools they had attended, and that showed the person trying to decide if this is a good match, exactly what they've done. And I think a lot of them were surprised at some of the things that we actually could document that they've learned and they've experienced in the military. It is not just you did something, you get the, you get the credit. It's all about the learnings. If you can satisfy uh, the professors that you have that learning that you, that you would learn in classes as course objectives we should and will give you credit. Nowadays people understand that if you want to have a job it's absolutely mandatory um, that you get some type of degree certification um, so and um, community colleges have become the stomping ground now for, for most folks to get started. It's our experience that if, if you recognize and, and see that they have the competency skill level that you're giving them credit for they go on to other things and do really well. 
I mean, there's nothing that you can, you can't replace education once a soldier has it. Um, they're going to become at some point a veteran. They're going to become a, a, a citizen of a, whatever community that they join. And the more educated they are, the, the more productive citizen they can be in their communities. I think that this is a great program. And, um, and I think that um, over time, you know, we're going to see a lot more soldiers begin to utilize it. It's picking up. Um, I know I realize now we got a lot of maps out there. And, um, and um, it's going to start to pick up. People are really, school's becoming a, a priority. <laughs> for a lot of folks. So it's a great program and I'm really looking forward to being able to assist people with it.